Hey everyone, I have this really bad habit of getting a wild hair up my ass and doing something but forgetting to film it. I've had a couple fighter practices that I should have filmed and I already built one shield that I didn't film and I almost built a second one without capturing it on camera. But luckily I remembered and so today I'm going to show you how to build a shield that will pass both SCA and ACW standards. Shapes and sizes can differ, but the construction is relatively the same. This is a punch shield that I made a couple weeks ago. And this is my new buckler. Both are made from a sheet of half inch birch, covered in wood glue, canvas, and edged with rawhide. I've known how to do this for some time, but was unsure of what wood to use. I went to my local ACW practice and asked how their shields were made. I was grateful to hear that it's the same process I use to build my SCA shields. I was also notified to use birch because it's a good wood and also it's historic. For this project, we're gonna need a sheet of birch, half inch thick, jigsaw, a canvas painter's drop cloth, a big bottle of wood glue, I prefer to use Gorilla, a steel center boss, drill with a couple different size bits, six to ten small clamps, leather needle, and wax cord. For more historic threading, use sinew. Sandpaper, or a file, a genuine leather belt if you don't have good leather on hand, four carriage bolts with washers and nuts. If you don't have a side of rawhide available, I used a large plain rawhide dog bone. Spray bottle, and to make it all nice, paint and shoe leather dye. Don't forget the rubber gloves. This way of shielding works for flat shields, like a punch or a buckler or a flat Viking style round. I'm not a fan of heaters or kite shields, so this process won't include the curving. Plan out what shape you want to use and measure it out. Luckily, with my buckler, I had a pizza pan that was exactly 15 inches which is the maximum size for this project to fall within standards. Grab your jigsaw and cut out the circle. Sand and file around the edges. Set my center boss and marked out the handhole. Cut out and file and sandpaper the edges. Make sure you get all the sharp edges rounded. Then you take your canvas and cut out the shape of your shield, leaving room for overlap. Pour a bunch of wood glue evenly across the bare wood. Spray some water on the glue to make it more malleable. Start spreading the glue around by hand, and once it's a good layer, put your canvas on and stretch it evenly. Then, repeat the gluing process on top of the canvas. Make sure the glue fully penetrates the canvas. Use your hand to fold over the edges, and the glue should hold it. Let it dry. Once dry, cut the handhole part in an asterisk design and glue the pieces to the back of the shield. Repeat the process for the back of the shield and let it dry. While it's drying, let's work on our dog bone edging. Grab a bone about nine inches long with the knotted ends. And soak it in warm to medium hot water. This will take a while. As it starts loosening, you can start to peel it apart and remove the center pieces as it's inferior rawhide to the rest. When it's all unfolded and soaked through, you can cut your strips. I was able to just fold it long ways and cut it in half. Worked out well. 
I added the edging by clamping the rawhide to the shield and working my way around, clamping every few inches. If it's nice and even and looking good, let this beast dry overnight. When it's dry, you can start to mark your holes for the edging and the center balls. I marked my edge holes every inch and a half. Take the drill with the small bit and drill them out. Take the larger drill bit and drill your boss holes. We're starting around third here. I use shoe scuff dye to color the rawhide and basic acrylic paint for the face and back of the shield. Give at least two coats each. Take your dull tip leather needle and a long, long length of cord. Do a saddle stitch and tighten it up. Tie it off. And finally, take your carriage bolts and add your boss. I'd suggest building a metal handle for this only because I built a leather handle and when I took it to practice, it moved way too much and it wouldn't stay where I wanted it to. But anyways, here you go. A basic, quick shield build. And if you followed this guide to build your own, please let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching. And we'll see you next time here at My Medieval Corner.